One of the big challenges in education is the cost of higher education over the, next, uh, over the past decade and the decades going forward. Uh, each year, the cost of running a college goes up with the cost of uh, natural inflation, but that takes tuitions that have started uh, 30, 40 years ago in the uh, tens are now moving into the $50,000 a year for room and board at the highly select prestigious colleges and 20 to 30 even at your state, state colleges. At the same time, states are being forced to reduce their commitment to their higher education institutions, uh, putting more burden on them to either raise money either through grants, uh, philanthropy, and unfortunately tuition, which is making the cost of uh, college education increasingly difficult for middle class and particularly poor families uh, to achieve. One of the issues that we have to ask, and uh, higher education has to answer this quite directly, is what is the value added of a college education? We know with our broad studies that those who go to college end up earning more than those who don't, and those who finish high school end up more earning more than those who don't finish high school. So clearly education is a value added for individuals in terms of the acquisition of personal wealth, uh, family wealth, and certainly as a boon to the economy as it creates uh, innovation and a workforce that's prepared to take on the challenges of a technologically advanced economy. What, though, is the tipping point before when colleges are too expensive, when, when one can no longer afford them? It's easy to say that the uh, cost of a highly select prestigious college is, has, is the same as a cost of a BMW, uh, but that the fact matters that is out of the range for uh, most Americans. So universities have to seriously stop and consider what is their value added, and consumers have to identify what is the value of going to a prestigious university at $50,000 dollars a year or their state school and really decide how that's going to serve them because those who aspire to the upper echelons of, of the world working in finance working in law going on to uh, major roles in in, in either uh, local or federal government you need the training that comes with a highly prestigious uh, university where you're trained by the top professors and the top intellects in the world and put in positions of uh, employment of, of a very high quality but that's going to cost money. But does everyone need it? Does everyone have to go for four years? These are issues that we're going to have to solve uh, within the next five, ten years. Uh, as many people think, our economic model for higher education is broken, and we certainly have to demonstrate uh, much better uh, use of our monies. The one thing that we should advocate for is that we make these decisions based on data, that we use science to understand, that we really examine the issues, uh, make data different decisions. Otherwise, we'll go into a rhetorical uh, policy debate that will not serve anyone.